So I asked on Tumblr if anybody wanted to see my random number generator based on a lava lamp and approximately one person replied. So here's the video. Okay, so this is my current setup for my lava lamp random number generator. You can see I have my lava lamp there looking pretty funky with its rising and falling and everything like that. And then we have my really crappy webcam from like 2012, so yeah. Okay, here we are inside Java Rand. Um, we have our picture here on the left side, which is labeled our source of randomness. Uh, every time you click get new picture, it uh, takes a new picture and updates it. So you can see your source of randomness. And as you can see up here, every time you get new picture, it uh, updates the hash for it as I showed you earlier. Um, you can set your range here. It defaults to one to 10. Uh, you can update this to, you know, 100,000, a million, whatever you want. Um, although it is susceptible to integer overflow. Um, I just didn't think that anybody needed to generate a number greater than 3 billion. So whatever. Um, and uh, generate a number is blank until you generate the first number. So right now I'm generating numbers between uh, one and a million. Um, so most of them are gonna be pretty big, but every time I click generate, you can see the picture changes. So um, you're not actually getting the uh, non true randomness from the pseudo random number generator but you are in fact getting a truly random number because it is being reseeded every time you uh, click generate. So you can't predict, um, you know, what the number is gonna be. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna add buttons so you can just uh, generate for a D6 or a D20 or even uh, flip a coin. Um, so that'll be, you know, one and two. Uh, one being heads, two being tails, or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's Java Rand. So here comes the fun part, which is the explanation for how this all works. Um, if you want a better description by somebody who actually knows what they're doing, I left a link in the description on the source for why I did everything that I did. So you start with clicking uh, the number button here, uh, the generate new number button. Uh, it takes a picture, saves that picture to a file, and then later on it reads that picture and it updates the uh, picture in the UI. Uh, then it goes to hash the picture and then this is where it loads up the picture. It dumps the bytes of the pictures to an array. Then it takes every seventh byte um, to avoid hashing the same byte of each pixel. Although I think they're off wrong because there's only three bytes per pixel. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, should be hashing every third byte. Oh well. Um, so I just kind of skip a byte every now and then. Uh, then it feeds the new array to it, the hash algorithm, uh, which gets a string and then it updates the hash label um, displayed in the program. Then that string gets converted back to a byte array which then seeds the number generator um the pseudo random number generator that i'm using is secure random which is a external library provided in java um i can link to uh, the documentation for that in the description as well um so after it sees the generator it sends the min max values to the generator and then with that, it generates a new number and then it updates the label so you can actually see the uh, number that you generated.